New details tonight about the presidential assassination in Haiti. CNN says that sources tell them several of the men involved previously worked as informants for U.S. law enforcement agencies, including the DEA. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi reports from Port-au-Prince. Tonight, new details about one of the alleged masterminds behind the brazen assassination of President Maurice. Authorities say 63-year-old Christian Emmanuel Sanon, a Haitian based in Florida, played a key role in the scheme and planned to assume the presidency himself. A raid on his home revealed 20 boxes of bullets, a list of the hit squad members, and a DEA hat, according to police. The attackers claimed to be DEA agents when entering the president's compound last Wednesday. Sanon has spoken out against Haiti's leaders in the past. Where is the leadership of Haiti? But exactly how this doctor and pastor who once filed for bankruptcy became the central figure in the plot remains unclear. Sanon is alleged to have hired the 26 Colombians involved in the attack through CTU Security, a Florida-based security firm run by a Venezuelan. Most of the Colombians alleged to have been involved have been arrested, as have two Haitian Americans who claim they were hired as translators. But just how the assassins breached three security checkpoints is still unknown, and none of the president's guards were wounded in the violent attack, raising the possibility the attackers had inside help. Meanwhile, Haiti is on edge. Today, Haitians chanting Joe Biden gathered outside the U.S. Embassy, clamoring to leave the country. Security is bad. It's very you don't bad. feel safe. Yeah, yeah. That's what? the reason. The president has a lot of security. They were kill. They were killed. So if they can kill the president, then yeah. of course yeah. they can kill anybody else, you're saying. Exactly. That's the reason we want to, to, to leave. Where do you want to go? USA. At USA. U.S. officials, including the FBI, met with Haitian authorities Sunday to discuss the investigation. Meanwhile, the White House has not ruled out sending troops here if the situation on the ground deteriorates. Mola Lenghi, CBS Miami, Port-au-Prince.